Today I'm going to be showing you why women only like the men that do not fully like them back and this is also going to be the number one thing that women don't want you to know or the number one thing that women will not tell you. And the reason being is because if you're a man who understands these concepts, you're going to have leverage within the relationship and what I'm going to be doing on today's marker board presentation is showing you step by step how you can actually make that possible for yourself to have a far better dating life compared to the majority of all other men out out there. Now, after this video is over, as always, be sure to go down below, click the link in the description and check out the full length MBT masculine behavioral technique end to end webinar presentation that I put together for you. So that way you can take some of these concepts even further and you can go and get results in your dating life at a far quicker pace. Let's dive in. Okay, today we are discussing the number one thing that women will never tell you. And that would be that women only like the men who do not fully like them back. Now I'm going to say this one time and one time only because you need to internalize this. If you clearly like her from the beginning, okay, if you clearly like her from the get go, and you like her more than she likes you, hypergamy is never satisfied. Hypergamy cannot be satisfied. Okay, you have to understand and internalize this. This is what it comes down to is internal high value. If she can see that you're emotionally invested, she can see that you really like her from the beginning, you demonstrate that with your attitude, your vocal tone, your nuances, it's going to tell her that she has a higher sexual market value than you. As soon as that happens, everything that attracted her in the beginning, whether it be how you look, how successful you are, what, what you got going in your career, all of that stuff that you think matters becomes irrelevant because she loses the psychological perceived value for you that she once had. Okay. So let's just take this slow and kind of digest this. Hypergamy is never satisfied when this occurs. So you might be sitting here thinking, well, why, why is that? The reason is because if this occurs where you like the woman more than she likes you, she now thinks that she's better than you. As soon as she thinks that she's better than you, she starts to look to replace you. So women want to date up. They want to date and marry up. And what that means is this means the psychological perceived value in her brain that you hold has to register as higher sexual market value. If you can do this by maintaining your composure, okay, concealing your interest level, okay, if you can do this by not necessarily being sold on the woman right away, regardless of beauty, and you make her show deeper level qualities, okay, that you're actually looking for, this is going to make it look like you're a man who's hard to get. If you're a man who's hard to get, this is going to raise her attraction because women love a challenge. A man that's a challenge to a woman appears to be a man who's in high demand. If you can make yourself appear to be in high demand, you're going to have much better success dating. So without this, okay, she is looking to replace you without the ability to make it so that way the woman has just a little bit more investment into you or likes you just a little bit more. It's going to be impossible for you to satisfy hypergamy. So without this, she is always looking to replace you. Now let's go to the second column. Okay. The less you try as a man, okay. The less you try, meaning the less effort, the less it appears you have to try to let's say win her over or to engage her emotions. Read this with me. The less you try, the more they want you. Now, how do we know this? Well, we know this because we can sum up female attraction to mainly two things. If you're a man, this comes down to mainly two things. Okay. Women like men with influence and women like men with social status. Okay. Women seek men with status. So what tends to happen is when, when guys are growing up, okay. Or, you know, in their younger years, when maybe they're in middle school or high school, it's very clear for them to see that. Okay. The popular guys with influence or social status are the ones who typically have access to date the attractive women. Let's take this at another level. Okay. The guys who are athletes in maybe middle school or high school or have recognition in like sports or something like that. They have higher levels of social status or popularity. It's very easy for guys to see that as they are growing up. But what men tend to forget or what men forget to realize is that 
that whole idea or that whole perspective or that whole perception in a woman's brain does not leave as they mature. They're still looking for men with status. They're still looking for men with popularity. They're still looking for men who have recognition in something. Okay. And that's how you get that woman to value you. So women like men with influence and women like men with social status. That's it. So here's why the less you try, the more they want you because in her brain, here's how this is perceived in her brain. She's sitting there going only a man who has to put in a lot of effort. Okay. Only a man who wants to spend lots of time with me. Only a man who makes me a priority would have low status. And what happens then is she won't want you. She's going to sit there and say, if you're doing all of these things, you must have low status or you must have low sexual market value. And she's going to sit there and wonder, Hmm, what makes me so special that this guy wants to spend all this time with me? What makes me so amazing that this guy wants to be by my side every second? What makes me so amazing, even though I haven't really done a whole lot to try to win this guy over, what makes me so amazing that he wants to just commit to me? This is how it registers in her brain. Okay. The more you try, the less she likes you say this with me one more time, because it is a very hard pill for a lot of guys to swallow. The more you try, the less she likes you, the less you try, the more she wants you. Okay. Women only like the men who do not fully like them back. Now let's take this a step deeper. Some of you guys, you might hear that and you go that that makes me angry. My past relationships failed. Okay. Here's what you have to realize. It is not their fault. And what I mean by that is women can't control what they're attracted to. It just happens. Okay. It's the same for you. Attraction just happens. So we need to actually take a second to like process this guys need to take a second to process this to understand. Okay. Let's reverse the entire scenario. Okay. Let's make you the focus here for a second. You see a pretty woman and you're attracted to her. Okay. You're just walking down the street and you see a, a gorgeous woman. You're attracted to her or you're like, Oh my gosh, that's my dream girl. Okay. You might have those thoughts. You see a pretty woman, you're attracted to her. Okay. You got to let this sink in. It would not matter how you're raised. Okay. It would not matter what your parents told you to believe in. And it would not matter any belief that you hold or any personality trait that you hold, you would just naturally be attracted. You will still like her. You can't control what you're attracted to. So what I can tell you is this stop categorizing women as to uh, this is um, quality versus not quality, or this is the, the way that uh, she was raised by her parents is going to influence her decisions in what she's attracted to. Okay. Attraction in every single individual is something that is hardwired into you. You cannot control what you're attracted to. So this is why I'm telling you it is not their fault. You just have to learn how to adapt and you have to learn how to play the game much better. So to take this at an even deeper level, how do you actually win as a man? You can never get complacent. Okay. Because if we drill back to my original point right here, where I'm telling you women like men with influence and women like men with social status, because women seek men with status or popularity as a man, you can never get complacent. Here's what I mean by that complacency in your life and in your career equals one thing and one thing only it equals that you're content with your current level of status. Say this with me one more time complacency in your life and in your career equals one thing. It equals that you're content with your current life and your current level of status, which means you've stopped pushing forward. Okay. You have stopped your progression or you have stopped your growth. This is unattractive. The reason being is because women want to see a man actively in motion and actively pushing forward. Okay. This should give you the confidence now, since you've raised your value, this should now give you the confidence to not be overly clingy. This should give you the confidence to not be needy. This should give you the ability to look at life and your dating life as a standpoint of abundance. So pushing forward in life allows you to access more options when dating. And if you're accessing more options when dating, this should do three things specifically. The first thing that it should do is you got to understand men can build value with time. 
if you put time into your goals, if you put time into one thing that you're chasing or you're pursuing, I don't care if it's a career goal, I don't care if it's a fitness goal, I don't care if it's a life goal, if you put time, energy, emphasis, effort, and focus into something, you can grow and you can develop, okay? Men can build value with time. That means if you're putting in the work as a man, the older you get, the more options you should have access to. So this is the first belief we need to adapt. The second thing is this, Pushing forward in life allows you to access more options when dating. Therefore, this should, in theory, give you abundance, okay? If this is just giving you abundance, that brings me to my third point. This allows you to not be needy and to keep your masculine energy. So what you're going to notice is when guys enter into relationships or when guys commit to a specific woman, they oftentimes will put her on a pedestal. They oftentimes will feel like, She's so far out of his league that he, he feels so lucky to be with her. Okay, when you push forward in life and you actually are actively attacking your goals, this should give you more options. This should make it so you can date from abundance. When you can date from abundance, what tends to happen is all of those old behaviors that made you look low value or low status, such as uh, making the woman too much of a priority in your life, not chasing your goals, um, what would be another one? Being too needy, right? Constantly wanting to see her, constantly wanting to go out on all of these dates and do all this stuff. What you will realize is that when you push forward in life and you date from abundance, you can sort of erase some of those internal habits that have made your past relationships fail. And if you can understand this, if you can identify this, if you can analyze this, you'll start to realize that all of this goes hand in hand, okay? The way you level up in your career, should in theory give you more, let's say financial stability. That financial stability maybe gives you more confidence. That confidence shines through in your speaking ability and in your tonality. Now you're able to hold frame better, right? Now you're able to carry yourself with the certain um, confidence or swag that you've always wanted. Pick any goal, okay? When you prove to yourself, it, and it's not just career, it, it can be a fitness goal, it can be a life goal, it can be a, a personal accomplishment. When you pick something, and you prove to yourself that you can accomplish it, you have now actually proven to yourself that you are successful. That success compounds. And just like in life, you can have kind of a downward spiral, you can also have an upward spiral. When you have that upward spiral, that shows through in your personality, that shows through in your attitude. Now all of a sudden you become a man with the options that you've always wanted, okay? This is why the number one thing that women will never tell you is that women only like men who do not fully like them back and women Women like and adore men with influence and with social status. So if you are always pushing forward in life, it becomes easier to erase some of those internal traits that did not register in high, as high value with your past relationships. So this is how you actually start to tackle this and this is how you win. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.